because I slept with a few dudes in the past in college does not mean you, you're going to sit there and call the wedding off. It was in college. Right now, you're, no, no, no. Right now, you're college. It was in college. Home for the love of God. It was in college. It was in college. Now, there are three things I will never understand in this world. First being the YouTube algorithm. I've studied that shit for more than 10,000 hours. I spend more time studying the YouTube algorithm than spending time with my family. Second being when people watch corn without doing anything as if it's a whole two hour fucking movie eating popcorn and just watching the whole corn video and be like, oh, look at her. How wholesome she's praying. She she's she's praying. And third being women who date ex gay men. Now, as a man for him i'm very happy for him he used to be he used to do goggles on other guys but now he changed his way he's back to being normal but if i was ever a woman i would never date a guy who used to give goggles to other guys I, I can never understand this like what the fuck do you talk about once you're like sitting at home together and you you want to have like a conversation you're gonna be like oh who has a better head game now i will never understand this because even though sometimes i identify as a woman to get away from with things I, I will never be a woman, so I can never understand this. Maybe it's love conquers all. Now, as I was scrolling through Twitter, I found this video of this woman who calls off the wedding because she found out that her fiance used to give gagas to multiple guys back in college. Now, this is something you don't see every day, so I decided to let me pull up this video and let's talk about it. Does it justify for her leaving him or not? Now, this is the only full-length video that I've found of this guy reacting to the whole full clip, but he's not saying a word, so he's just gonna be a useless human being just sitting at the side. So try not to, like, focus on this guy. I gotta see this video. Just because I slept with a few dudes in the past care. in college does not mean you, you're gonna you sit there and call the, the wedding off. It was I in college. Right now, you're, no, 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 right now, college. It, it was in matter. college. Home for the love of God. It, don't it was in college. I'm a good man. Any woman, any woman will want a man like me. Any woman will want a man like me. Maybe that's not the best line to tell a woman that any woman would want a man like me. A man like you who used to give gagas in college. I mean, we're not judging over here. Everyone wants to try things. For me, I like to try new things as well. But one thing, two things I will never try ever they say you will never know until you lick that lollipop my friend that is not going to happen second thing it will never happen is i've had exes i've had ex-girlfriends trying to joke around and go around my <coughs> jungle cave but every time they attempted i went full white tank top husband mode i didn't put my hands on them but i gave him the whole warning before i unleashed the white tank person on them like me so you go ahead and try and try to throw me away well, you go ahead and try well, you go ahead and try I like i said like, like i said, said let me tell you something you. you will never find another it's man over. like me oh, you will I never will. find another man like me you're judging me and that's all right I also i feel like that's the whole point for her to never find a man like you who used to give gaga's back in college but hey now i know you might think this whole video might be fake but this is just human nature in 2024 to pull out your phone you see a person dying in front of you and you could do something to help them but instead you take out your phone and you start recording so it's just human nature at this point You're not serious. I'm it's not, not finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. Finish. Finish. No, so I'm what? I was curious I'm and scared. we all go through oh, well, phases. No, we no, grow now. No. I want to speak up on behalf of 99% of men. No, we were not all. Yes, we were curious, but never this curious. This is across the line. Also, another thing. Who snitched? How, how did she find out that some guy who hated his life and saw these two couple that were happy and decided to be a whole villain about it? And he was like, yo, miss, your fiance used to give me Gaga's 12,000. Who the fuck snitch, snitched? And another thing I want to point out is the damage is already done. Now, yes, you might, your whole point of view might change on that person, but you've already done things together maybe along the way there were signs that you ignored that he liked it when you went around his cave maybe that should have been your sign like something is up but the damage is already done might as well if you're in love at this point just 
I feel like a marriage therapist. I feel like a marriage counselor. <laughs> Even though I yap a lot, I'm actually a very good listener. Like if me and you will sit together, you can tell me all of your secrets, all of your shameful sins, and I will listen to you. And when the time comes, I'm going to use those against you. But on a real note, I'm a very great listener. And when it comes to these two, I feel like the damage is already done. What they're if they love each other, they can actually put this aside, never think about it. But I guess some people can move on. And as a marriage therapist, I understand. But we're grown now. But we're oh, grown no. now. Sorry, we're grown we're now. Sorry. No, okay. no, we're not calling nothing off. We're not calling no. nothing off. It's You're not calling nothing off. Not. You're not serious right now. You're not serious. Oh, well. No, no, no. I'm not hearing that. I'm not hearing no, that. I'm not, I don't have to. No, no. no. So let me ask you a question. You can't you can't let me ask you a question. No, so you mean to tell me in college you didn't sleep with anybody? The right reason you're mad because I didn't tell you. That's why you're mad. That's why you're mad. No, we're going to listen to everything I'm saying to you. Now, people for centuries have been studying on why is it okay? Why is it natural and sexy at the same time when a woman does something with a woman? But when it comes to men, when they start doing scissors and sword fight against each other, it's just straight up disgusting. And this goes on for both male and female point of views. Even if she tried anything back in college, that's completely fine. Any man in this world would have been okay with it. Maybe a few will be like, oh my God, no, no way. I don't date lesbians. Cold no, it nothing is called off. Nothing is called off. Okay, okay. We're getting married. We're getting married. We're getting married. We're grown. We're going to talk about this. We're going to move forward. You're just mad because of something that happened in college. And I'm years ago. About that. Okay. And oh, you're petty. You're petty. Okay, you're great. petty. I That's just that. That's that. Oh, we're not. We're no, not. We're not. No, we're not. No, we're no, nothing. Sir, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight hard for me okay, to do it. Right. Hey, no, hey, no. hey, no. hey. No. You would have known. No. It, it was years ago. It was years ago. It was the past. We move forward. We move forward. We move forward. It's over. I don't care how mad you are. Nothing that you say to me matters right Nothing now. Nothing what you say to me matters. Okay, me good. Then we're on the same page. No, we're then we're not. on the same page. No, I'm still here. You can leave. I don't have to go door. anywhere. Then that was the past. We're not understanding. At this point, it's just getting pathetic. This happened like eight months ago. And from the looks of on the woman's face, there's, there's a chance that this whole thing can be a whole skit. But at the same time... Maybe she's having thoughts of him just getting back shots and she's just having a laugh about it. She can't hold her laugh. We can't tell. But I've made videos about never to be this pathetic after you break up. Yes, we. I post some guru stuff as well and I give tips to young men going through breakups as well in a couple of my videos. If someone doesn't fight for you or love you like back... It's fine, just move on. There's always someone else. Never embarrass yourself in front of someone like that. Because even if you had a slightest chance of getting back together, you just kill that chance and you just become a completely pathetic looking man. But looking at her, she could have easily just left as well. But she's just standing there and having a whole argument. She's either too much into this drama, she's enjoying it so much, or she wants him back. We don't know. I mean, you never love me. You I never did. did. Oh, you I never did. did. You, but you, you never did. Have to bear with your you never, it was in a pad. I got you acting like it was recent. It you, don't matter. It, it doesn't matter. matter. To me, it's it not, matters to ask me. Ask anybody. Ask it's anybody that done it. Everybody I went through their phases. You. And you ain't do nothing. And that's that. Well, we're not. We are. No. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are, and I'm gonna make it known to the whole world. I'm gonna make it known to everybody, the public, that is funny. the public. That is funny. Yeah. That is really yeah. Funny. Now, even though there was no evidence of him giving gogas to guys back in college, but after this behavior, it is 100% confirmed that he was actually gay back in college. After he says, "I'm gonna take out my phone and I'm gonna expose what kind of a horrible human you are." Brother, put the phone down. Go find someone else and maybe next time be honest from the beginning and make sure they're okay with it. There's a lot of women, like I said, they're very okay with it as well. Like you used to give gagas back in college. Sure, you're a new person now. You might have some bad luck, but there are people who are going to be okay with it. Also, I'm very surprised. The algorithm is definitely against this man. He's very underrated. And he only has five 
subscribers so if you want quality content definitely give this guy a sub diverse digital news globe unique content for a unique type of username as well now the video ends over there we don't know what happened they probably broke it off or they got back together and she got okay with it who the fuck cares i don't know i just thought it would be interesting to talk about this whole situation because it, it was funny now throughout this whole recording i've been holding my shit so long and i've been holding it since last night I'm going to be attempting the world record for the longest shit ever. Yesterday's video was 28 inches. I'm going to aim for 29 and up. I'll let you know how it goes. And after like studying the algorithm for 10,000 hours, I think after a whole year, I figured out the algorithm. The whole algorithm is when someone watches your videos and when it comes to the end of the video, they click on one of your videos on your end screen. So they keep on watching more videos. And the, this gives a positive sign to the algorithm. That's how, you know, you get exposed to more people. So after I hack this secret, I want to say if you do not click on one of these videos, you're gay. It's up to you. If you don't click and watch one of these throughout the whole video and not say anything, you are gay. Up to you. The choice is yours. The video is going to end in three seconds. If you don't click on it, you're gay. Three, two, one. <laughs>